So let's look at how you share a book. So if I want to share this book, I'm going to go back to my library and I've got a couple of options. Down here under the bottom, I have a share icon. When I click on that, I can make sure it's published online. I can change the title, the author, give a description. I can say this is private or public. If you make it public, that means it's searchable and it's available out there. You can always choose to turn that off. I can also turn on remixes, which means you can make a copy of it. I'm going to keep that off. And it's currently published. I can also copy the link. It goes directly to this book. I can also get the QR code that's going to allow students to scan and read the book online. I can also just click read online. So if I copy that link, I can easily share it. I can also see the analytics. So I can see how many reads there's been. So uh, I've shared it out. This is my demo one. It goes out there how many times it's been read. Also, I can see in which country. So it's been read right here in Atlanta. So it's a great way to get a little bit of data about that. So I can also share my book by going to the collaborate option. If I go to collaborate, I can say everyone in the library can collaborate or I can uh, and notice that collaboration icon comes up here. Anyone that's in there, you can also, once you have students join your library, you can turn it on so only certain students collaborate in certain books. So that's how you can do group work, which is great. I can also download this as an ebook or choose to print it. I can also go to this book icon and I can import a book or PDF. I can move this to another library. I can copy my books. I can combine books. This is a great option. You do have a thousand books available, but if you are teaching multiple classes with 30 kids a piece and each of them were working on multiple books, that'll add up pretty quickly. What you can do then is at the end of a unit, take everybody's individual books and combine them into one and you've got one book as an artifact. So a great tip there. I can also delete the book if I don't want that book anymore. And remember, as you have people join your library, that invite code is right here. You pull that up and people can access it very easily. A couple other things to know about how you share your book. So if I'm in read mode, so I have this book, I'm going to go in here. Uh, I'm in read mode here. I can go to the three dots and I can also go into full screen so I can see it bigger on the screen. Uh, this is published online. I can copy a link to this book, a copy a link to a particular page download it as a QR code. I can share it directly to Google Classroom, embed this book in a website, download it as an ebook, and print it. So you've got a lot of options available for sharing your book.